Hello guys, Steven here back with another video and today I'll be teaching you how I color grade my YouTube videos with LUTs. Okay, so right now I'm in Adobe Premiere Pro. It might be different uh, for different uh, programs and softwares and you know video editors, uh, but it should have some sort of feature that is similar to the ones I'm using. So I'm using the default uh, color grading software, uh, the Lumetri color right here. Your video editor might require like a plugin. I know uh, Sony Vegas has like a plugin or something. I'm not totally sure. Just try to follow along even if you don't have Premiere Pro. And before I get started, I just want to explain what LUTs are. They're basically like presets. Uh, they're basically like filters that changes the colors and stuff. Uh, I use them personally just because I always like the color that it gives. And you have to adjust accordingly because sometimes it'll be overexposed and underexposed. And like for example, when I record face like cam videos like these, like when I'm, you know, looking at the camera, I always have the same lighting in the same settings. But if I were outside, it'd be a little bit brighter and I have to decrease the exposure. So I can't always use the same settings for, for different clips. So the first thing I do is make a new adjustment layer. The reason I do this is because everything under the adjustment layer will be edited. So instead of doing it to each individual clip, I can just uh, put it on the adjustment layer and everything under the adjustment layer will have those effects applied and this those settings applied. In this case, I don't really need it because I only have one clip, but if I had you know many, I would uh, use it and it would be really helpful. So this is exactly like, I mean exactly, exactly the way that I edit these um, video clips. I will go on Lumetri Color right here. This is the default. Um, if you don't have it, go on Window and then go on Lumetri Color right here and you'll see it. The first thing I'll do is always apply the LUT first just because you have to adjust accordingly to that. If you were to uh, do all the basic correction first, the LUT could just destroy that all and it won't look normal, right? So I'll select the Fuji one, I always do. I really like the blue look. It should be here because it is a default one and it's made by Adobe. Um, I'm using the CC version. Maybe if you have like CS5, you might not have it. I'm not 100% sure. I never change the intensity. I always keep it the same. And then now after I apply the LUT, I will go back into basic correction. So if you know me, I do not like really warm colors unless it's like a landscape and it's like, you know, a film or something. I might use uh, warm colors, but usually I like blue colors. So uh, I mean cool colors and then what I'll do is just move it to the left here so that my skin is not like orange It'll be like normal like brownish yellowish The next thing I'll do is determine if I should lower the highlights or the exposure Sometimes it's so bright that I just have to lower the exposure, but sometimes just lowering the highlights will do so if I just do that That looks pretty good, but I think lowering the exposure a little bit No, that's just way too dark. I'll actually just make it zero again I think just lowering the highlights is good and maybe just the whites a little bit. Sometimes if my face is too dark, like it's darker on one side here, what I'll do is increase the shadows so that it kind of removes those shadows right there. But if I want to make it like look cooler like this, it kind of has like, it becomes darker in the shadows. Obviously I just, I just said that, <laughs> but yeah, as you can see here, my face is really shiny. I think I'll actually decrease the exposure. Uh, and then increase the shadow so that I can see more stuff, but it is darker. As for contrast, I'll always uh, increase it because uh, if I don't like how it looks like, I'll always go into creative and just increase the faded film um, so that it is less contrasty. So that's what I'll do here. And there it's less contrasty. It's a little bit more faded. I always like to kind of create a cinematic look. Uh, I don't know why, even in my normal videos, I like to do that. I still think it's a little bit too like white right there. I don't like the highlight. It's just like way too shiny. If we just apply that and like nothing else, like I'm not even done yet and just hide this layer. Look at the big difference. I think this looks like 99% better. Like one per, just like, look at that. Now what I'll do is increase the sharpness. I always do. Uh, the only scenario where I don't increase the sharpness is if it's in low light because that creates grain. Uh, otherwise, I'll do uh, high sharpness. I'll increase the vibrance, but then I'll decrease the saturation. I really don't like when my face is orange. That's why I hate like warm colors. And that's why I decrease the saturation. Like if my face was like this, like I, I'd understand why some people like this, but I really don't like my face as orange. It just, it just does not look good. So that's how it looks like right there. For curves, I won't do much. What I'll do is either go up or down. And this is from the middle, right? Uh, basically, if you 
click on the middle here if you go up it gets brighter and if you go down it gets darker that's basically it so i'll just adjust it based off what looks good so i wouldn't make it brighter because my face would be shinier so and then i'll just make a little s curve here and as you can see my face is kind of covered i don't really like that just increase it a bit i always uh come back and edit because i'm really picky about this stuff like again like my face is too bright so i don't know whether to make it dark or brighter i think i'll just keep it darker just because like i'd rather have my face darker than shiny you know <laughs> Yeah, so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully it helped you out. If you want another color grading tutorial, maybe like uh, how to create a film look or something, comment below so I know and like and like this video. Uh, yeah, my name is Steven and I'll see you in the next one.